Hi, my name is Lori Rulin, and I'm an Adobe Certified Instructor for InDesign and Illustrator. In this video course, I'm going to show you how to create many of the most popular interactive elements in InDesign, and then we'll export them using Ajar Productions InDesign plugin called In5. When we're finished, this document can be viewed on a web browser as well as a tablet or a phone. First, let's take a look at the final document so you can see all of the features that we'll cover in the video course. The front cover has some animations that we'll set up. I've got a button here to begin reading the magazine. I'll set up a table of contents. I'll click on a page, go to that specific page, and then come back to it by clicking a table of contents button. I'll set up an animation to show the disclaimer, a next page button to jump to another page. I've got a button here that will reveal some caption information and close it out again. When I go to this next page, I've got a button that I can click to reveal text. I'll go to the next page and show that same idea where I need to roll over that photo. Here I have a slideshow. I can click on this little arrow to advance to the next photo. On the next page I have a map. It's a multi-state object where I can click on these little circles to reveal the information about that state. I've got a recipe book where I can click on these buttons to reveal the information. We'll set up some hyperlinks to link to phone numbers, web pages, and map locations. Animation is an InDesign feature and In5 exports it beautifully. We'll build this food pyramid animation and then a button that we can press to trigger another animation. On the next page we have a graph that is animated. Notice the rectangles are growing from the bottom and then the information in the circles is going to fly in from the bottom. This is a great way to make your information easier to understand. Here is a 3D flip card that is only available in In5. When I click on the photo, it flips to reveal the information on the other side, both horizontally and vertically. The Mobile Article Explorer is also an In5 feature. I can click on a button to reveal a much easier to read format for my text. I'll show you some tricks to get your reader a little bit more engaged in your information. Here we've got scrolling frames, both vertical and horizontal. And then we'll explore creating a video where we can play it from any location that we'd like to. So let's get started learning about all of the interactivity that can be applied in InDesign and then exported within 5. 